y'all welcome to my channel my name is sarah i hope everyone's doing good today today's video is gonna be part three deep cleaning in my kitchen i'm gonna be cleaning the microwave and the stove and the hood i'm also gonna be cleaning the bottom cabinets and going through them and then wiping down the refrigerator and cleaning the corner over by the dining room table and also sweeping and mopping the floor um, if you haven't checked out part one and two, I will have those in the description box below. But I hope y'all enjoy this video and it gives you some motivation. If you like it, please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put a cup of water in the microwave for about five minutes to break, to let the steam break up the food and stuff. Because it's easier to wipe out. And while that's doing that, I'm going to clean the hood range above the stove. walls around the stove down and then the side of the stove. drawer here on the stove and get out the burnt food because when I clean the oven it falls down in there like the crumbs and stuff so I'm just getting all that out. Now I'm just taking my vacuum and getting the rest of it out that I couldn't get with the rag. Now I'm taking some hot soapy water and I'm going to wipe the cabinets down. all that down I'm finally getting back to the microwave to finish cleaning it
I'm just going to clean the microwave plate and let it dry. So now I'm just moving stuff off the counter over here. And I know I have two mixers. Um, we got one for Christmas. I'm supposed to give the other one to my dad. We just haven't took it to him yet. Or when he comes to visit us. We f I forget to give it to him. Or when I leave to go visit him. I forget to grab it. Because it's normally on my way to work. But I'm just setting those on the stove. And then I'm going to start wiping down the wall and the counters. <laughs> counters and the walls wiped down so now I'm just getting the food from that was around the microwave and stuff wiped up and then I'm going to move on around to the other part of the counter. <music> putting the rose away and then I'm going to put the crock pot down in the cabinet and then I'm going to start going through stuff here on the counter. <music> Now that I moved everything out of the way and put stuff back where it goes, I'm going to start wiping down the counter. <music> I'm 
going to get some hot, fresh, soapy water and letting the water out of the sink. And then I'm getting a, a clean rag. And then I'm going to take the utensils out of the holders and wipe those down. So I'm just putting this stuff back over here that goes over here. <laughs> Now moving down to the bottom cabinets, I'm going to start over here in this cabinet and take everything out of it because back because this cabinet's really long, so like there's stuff in the back that we don't ever use or it's old. So I'm just going to take everything out and set it to the side and then wipe it out. moving over to this other cabinet i'm going to take uh the stuff out on this one side out because i already put the crock pot down here like the food processor we never use so i'm taking it out <laughs> dog came to see what I was doing and get some leavens and then she just went and laid back down over in front of the ki kitchen sink and watches what I do but um I'm just gonna put uh the George Foreman grill down here that was on top of the refrigerator and then I'm gonna move stuff over here in front of this cabinet so I can get to the other cabinet So now moving on to this cabinet, I'm just doing the same thing, taking everything out of it. And it's going to wipe it out because uh, this is the cabinet I have the toaster in. So there is breadcrumbs in the bottom. So I'm just going to wipe all that out and take everything out of here and then reorganize it. <laughs>
So now we're back over to this other cabinet. Um, I'm just going to put the air fryer back there. And then, because we don't ever really use it anymore. Because the microwave we got now has an air fryer on it. And I wanted to see if this box of my cookie cutters would fit up on the shelf. But it didn't. So I tried putting them in the popcorn tin here. And then I took them out a few times trying to get them to fit. But I eventually just stuffed them all in there and just put them up on the shelf. cookie cutters up on the shelf so I'm just putting the blender down here and the food processor but um I don't have the food processor no more I ended up giving it to my sister but I'm just going to start putting the pots and pans back down here in the cookie sheets <music> So in this bottom drawer of my stove, I'm going to put some cake pans and cooling racks down here. And then um, I'm going to take some Dawn Gist soap and a stainless steel rag and wipe down the refrigerator. going to take one of my stainless steel wipes and write down the refrigerator again and then take uh, the rag on the side that I didn't use the dish soap on and buff it out. <music> doing the same thing to the dishwasher taking the Dawn dish soap and wiping down the dishwasher and the stainless steel wipe and then just going to take the rag and buff it out and then I do the same thing on the microwave like where the stainless steel part is <music> Just putting the mixers back on the counter. So move over here to this corner by the uh, dining room table. We have a step ladder and the vacuum cleaner and the shop vac and pool noodles. And the two drawers are from where our dishwasher is. It used to be a cabinet and drawers there, but we took those out when they put the dishwasher in. And we thought we was going to do something with them, but we didn't. So we ended up getting rid of them. But they just been laying over there. But I was going to clean off the table. And then just start moving stuff.
from the corner over here. I was going to take some hot soapy water and wipe down the baseboards. dumping the water out and then I ended up uh, cleaning my dog's food and bow uh, mat so I'm just going to wash that and let it dry. <music> I was taking my stove top cleaner and put it on the stove. I'm going to take a sponge and spread it all around and then take the razor blade to scrape the burnt and spilt food up. taking the pink stuff in a rag and then I'm just going to spread it over on the stove and get some tougher spots over on here that I couldn't really get and make it all nice and clean. <music> taking a disinfectant wipe and gonna wipe down the stove. So now I'm just moving on to the sink. I'm just moving all the dirty rags that I've been using and this cleaning out the sink. And then uh, I'm gonna rinse off the sponge I was using and clean the razor blade. And then I'm gonna show y'all before shot up close of the sink of how dirty it is because I'm going to use the pink stuff and a, some cleaning brushes I got to clean the sink with. So first I'm just going to use a smaller brush to clean around the faucet here to get the black stuff that uh, was on here. I'm not sure what it is because I clean it all the time. But I'm just using that first and then I was going to use the same brush but I ended up using the bigger brush because I was like that is too small so I switched the brushes real quick and ended up using the bigger one to clean the sink with
the sink pretty much covered in pink stuff. I'm just going to rinse it out with uh, some hot water and a rag to wipe off the residue and stuff. So now I have the sink all clean out. So now I'm just going to put everything back on the refrigerator because I was letting it dry a little bit because where I cleaned it with the Dawn dish soap and the stainless steel wipes. And then I'm going to close the blinds too. taking my vacuum cleaner and I'm going to vacuum the kitchen starting over here by the dining room table and then just work my way around the kitchen. and stuff there but that's a toy box that my boyfriend's parents gave us for my niece and my nephews when they come over and we're going to repaint it and stuff but we just haven't got to it so that's why it's still sitting there instead of in the toy room and plus can't really get to the toy room because it's blocked off because my dog can go in there and there's toys all over the floor and I want to get in there and clean it really good before we leave the door open and stuff so that's why it's still sitting here in the kitchen. vacuuming I'm just going to take my steam mop and plug it up and then start steam mopping the kitchen floor So I'm just putting some more water in there and then I'm just going to get back to mopping. So now I'm done steam mopping. So um, I'm just taking my old cedar spray mop and it's going around the kitchen again. So it smells good because like the steam mop, I like using it, but less that steam smell 
I'm not too crazy about it. So I was like using this mop once I done steam mop so that uh, it smells better. vacuuming and mopping I'm just going to put the chairs back in around the table and then um, plug the computer back up and then also put the stuff back over in the corner but I put it over in the far corner um, by the window instead of by the refrigerator <laughs> dog's food stuff back and then her food mat and then her food and water bowl and then the trash cans I'm just showing you on after shot starting over here by the uh, dog's food and her water and food bowl and stuff and then showing y'all the dining room table and then over here in the corner um where i put everything like i said i put it over in the far corner and then um like the top of the refrigerator has nothing on it now which is what i wanted and then the this is the front of the fridge and i know i showed y'all the refrigerator in my previous video but i'm just going to show it to y'all again in this video because this is after everything is done and so I'm just showing y'all this. And then um, I'm going to show y'all the sink and the counters and everything and the stove. But I hope y'all enjoy this uh, deep clean in my kitchen with me part three. And like I said, I will have part one and two in the description box below if you want to check those out. But I hope y'all enjoy this video and it gave y'all some motivation. And if you like it, please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Thank you.